Welcome guys to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to mint NFTs on the Solana blockchain using Solsi. So the first thing you want to do is go to google.com and then search up Solsi and get the first thing that comes up. Then the next thing you're gonna need is a wallet, which if you don't have a uh, wallet already, I have a very helpful tutorial on setting up a phantom wallet over here it's gonna appear around here so just click on that and follow the steps to set up your wallet then once you have it then stop it then just hit connect wallet phantom and then your wallet it's gonna ask you to sign a transaction or unlock your wallet or whatever just sign it and yeah so then um to mint an nft which I will actually be minting an NFT right now, is you go to create NFT, and then first thing is you need to upload static preview. So, let's just get, I actually think I have some of my art. Where is it? There we go. So let's say I want to mint that. So then I would upload both of my artwork files. Upload static preview. This is the storage cost. That is, I believe, less than a cent. No. Sold to USD. That is not correct. Yeah, that's not correct. Okay, let's try that. I think I need to remove that. Okay, Nan, that probably means that it's less than a cent, so that doesn't really matter. Up uh, animated preview. If you have an animated preview, just insert it. It doesn't really make much of a difference. Title, um, Porsche 911, super rare car, Porsche 911 car, this is a unique, unique car. That is one of a kind. By buying this, you agree that I shortcut games does not not own the original. Okay, that's how you spell it. They can never spell that right. So let's fix that. Imagine if I just posted it like this. Oh, that would be... Uh, royalties on secondary sales. This is um how much you want to receive if other people just copy your artwork and resell it. I want to receive 10% royalties. 100%. <laughs> An external URL. This is for your artwork page. Uh, I have an artwork page, but I don't have this posted on it. It's art.shortcutgames.com. Check it out, please. Tags. Digital. Uh, collectible. Uh, graphics. And I think one more would appear, would apply to this. Uh, image. There we go. License. Uh, here is the guide on the licenses. So mine would go to the reproduction commercial uh, exploitation, public commercial work, right to make copies of, distribute, right to making commercially, blah, blah, blah. Yes, I have the right because that is my art that I rendered in Blender. Collection, 
Uh, this doesn't go into any collection. Right. Car. Um, not car. White. First. Mint. First 901. Car rent. Okay. Mint NFT. Um. So it once it's uploading. Hurry up. Okay. Five minutes in. What is taking this so long? This usually doesn't take that long. Oh, I think it's because it's I made it. This is like super good quality picture. Yeah, I'm not gonna lack it even more by doing that. Hurry up and finish uploading. Please sign transaction. Okay, this is the first transaction to upload your files to Solsi. This will this transaction will usually take less than a cent. And if I go back here to my phantom wallet, then I can see that yes, it literally took like less than a cent. Uploading the files to AR Weave. The AR Weave is a storage hard drive that is built into the blockchain. It allows you to store documents and files forever. Literally forever. Your files will never get deleted. And it's actually really cool. Even if you like you laser your account or whatever. It's gonna still be here. Let's go back. The second transaction, this is to upload your file and to actually mint your NFT. So if I go to the Solana website, oh, developers NFTs, then I can see that the average mint cost of an NFT is $1.05. This transaction will always be around that. So let's see how much money I have in it in my wallet before. And any minute now, Okay, nine minute nine dollars and twenty one cents. I approve this. And once it finishes processing, Solana is the fastest seven dollars and ninety eight cents. So that took around two dollars. Perfect. Now this will take around a minute to process the mint. Oh, uh, while you're doing this. Even if you got something incorrect, there's like literally nothing you can do to change this. So, let's say you got a trait incorrect or whatever. What you would have to do is just re you have to redo the whole thing. You can't change NFTs after they're minted, which is one thing that really stinks about them. Because let's say I accidentally put a period where I don't like it or a comma or whatever. Then I can't change it. Congratulations, your NFT has been minted successfully. Check and refresh your wallet as it may not appear immediately. So then if I go to my wallet, if I go to your collectibles, and if I just wait a bit, shouldn't end up here. Why did it end up here? That's weird. Yeah, it's not even part of the collection. Okay, well, probably because it got minted here, it thinks that it's in the collection. Collection AI generated art. If I go to my car, where is my car? Reload your wallet. Fetching NFTs from the blockchain. I posted not part of a collection. Okay, that's good. So now to list your NFT, it's very hard to do. I might not be able to cover in this video, but all they have to do is click list NFT, and I'm gonna want to post this for zero point zero 
five souls. Okay, that's around ten dollars. Yeah, it's around ten dollars. Okay, let's hit list. Waiting for a transaction. Okay, I think that's still like five cents. I have seven dollars and forty nine cents. Let's wait until it's confirmed. Seven dollars and forty nine cents. See how much that took me. Six dollars and fifty two cents. Okay, that took me like fifty cents. It's not bad. So now, if we go to my listed NFTs, your NFT just got listed on the Solana blockchain. Wonderful. And now that brings us to the end of this tutorial. I just showed you how to mint and post your NFT for whatever price you want for less than $2. Thank you and bye.